My name is Tuli and today we'll talk about triggers. It is one of our most used features which helps you automate some parts of your recruitment process and make it more efficient for you. Let's have a look. To activate triggers in your Team Teller platform, you'll need to first navigate to your company menu, from there to add on features, and you can simply then activate your triggers by clicking on the triggers here and the activate button down the bottom. Now that your triggers are activated, you can use them as part of your jobs processes, either when editing or creating a new job or inside your jobs recruitment process. Let's start with having a look at how it looks like when we add it at the time of us creating or editing a new job. You will be able to add these triggers in your stages section and from there when you click to stage actions. Now let's have a look at two of our most used triggers, which are send message and smart move. With the send message, you can, for example, automate letting the candidates know that they have made it forward in your recruitment process. Whenever you're choosing what message to send, you can always work with some of your pre-created message templates that you can find here. You can also always attach some questions that you maybe want to ask from the candidates with these automated messages. Now that our trigger is added there, when we move our candidates forward from, in this case, the inbox to our reviewing stage, they would automatically receive this message. With the smart move trigger, we can, for example, automate sending candidates forward in our recruitment process based on their answers to questions, resume text, as well as locations. For example, when choosing the questions option, you'll firstly need to choose what stage you're wanting to move them to. Then when we click to the add question section, you'll firstly be able to find all the questions that you've attached as part of your application form. When you've selected a question, you can also specify what their answers should be so that this smart move will be in place. You can also then from there choose whether this applies to all of your candidates and if this move should have some form of a delay. Now that we add this trigger to our stages, you can see that every single candidate that answers to our question the way that we wanted them to, they would automatically be moved to the reviewing stage where they would then receive this message. Now that we've added your first two triggers into the stages, let's have a look at what other triggers we've got available here. With add comments, you can use this for internal communication throughout your recruitment process by, for example, tagging your entire team and letting them know that a candidate has reached a certain stage. We can also automatically tag candidates whenever they reach a certain stage. We can share candidates with external people that maybe don't have access to Team Taylor. We can use Smart Schedule to automatically schedule in interviews with our candidates as long as your calendar is connected with the Team Taylor platform. We can also add to-do lists for your team members to do at different stages. The next triggers that you can see in here are some of our add-on features that you will need to activate first in order for you to use them as a trigger. For example, you can automate asking for references. You can send NPS surveys and other surveys that you may have created in the platform yourself. You can also automatically add candidates to some of your nurture campaigns, as well as you can also restrict access to some of your candidates. What we can also use our triggers for is to automatically send your candidates to some of your integrations that you have activated with Team Taylor. For example, if you're using a HR system or some sort of an assessment tool. You will also have the opportunity of attaching your triggers onto the rejected side. So when, for example, you're rejecting a candidate after an interview, you can automate sending a survey to them. Now let's head over to a job and have a look at how it looks like when we've added triggers as part of our jobs process. Triggers are always indicated in your jobs process with this magic wand looking icon at the top of the stage. And if you want to see what those triggers are, you can simply click here or here to reveal what those triggers are. As you can see, we can now see all the different triggers that we have active at the moment. And if you want to, you can also add additional triggers at this stage if you feel that there would be another trigger that would benefit you. 
When you move a candidate inside a jobs process to a stage where you've got triggers active, you can see that they get this small icon into their profile that indicates that a trigger is about to be active. You can then click onto their personal profile and on the right hand side here in the activity tab, you can always see what that trigger is and when it's going to be sent. If you want to automate that happening automatically, you can click from here or you can also delete and cancel a trigger by clicking here. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need help, you can always reach out to our support. Happy recruiting!